Hey guys, Pedro1979 here. I'm uh, gonna bring to you guys today a review on the Veerhawk LS800D's goggle, FPV goggle. So these are uh, 5 pointed gigahertz goggles, 40 channel. You got a DVR inside and you got a whole lot of all that shit in there. So uh, I'm just gonna bring to you guys a little review on these goggles and why I think you should not buy them. So uh, here we go, guys. So these are the goggles. So these are the FP FPV goggles. Uh, they come in a nice uh, little case. So uh, let's just take a look at the case. So this is just a just a little uh, tissue case, hard case, a little bit. So uh, if you want to put your goggles in there, so uh, just a little bit of foam padding there. Just not really foam padding. Just a felt uh, type of material, like uh, you know some uh, some small t-shirt or something. So uh, just a little material inside. But that's pretty much it for the box. So that's the box that it came with. So these are the goggles itself. These are diversity goggles. You got a uh, uh, you got a patch antenna and you got a uh, circular antenna. So right here. So uh, guys, these goggles uh, they're not bad, but they're not the best goggles in the world. So let me turn them on and let let me show you guys what I mean by that. So uh, you got to press the power on button, which is right there. Which is the menu button. So when you turn them on, you get the Veerhawk logo logging in. So uh, that's what you can see inside there. So you got a couple things. You won't be able to see it, but you got um, some information on the batteries and the signals and the channel and stuff like that. Let me just plug in my Nano, Nano QX so you guys can see uh, the image quality. So let's just plug it in right there. So. You guys can see the image quality in there. So the image quality doesn't look that bad, guys. But there's actually a small delay on the uh, the goggle itself. So when you're turning the quad, there's a micro delay. Just a small delay when you're uh, turning the quad around. So let me just get that screen a little closer. So as you guys can see, the quad is right next to it. And you can see some flickering and the uh, reception is really not good so really not good reception uh, with these goggles so i'll show you guys that in comparison with uh, some other goggles so and the image quality could be better uh, on top now you can see the uh, information the channel and stuff like that so i got these on sale for about 39 or 49 dollars on amazon.ca well, with free shipping so let me just put that right there so anyways you can see uh there you got the time you got the date uh, you get the battery for the goggles and on the other corner you get the channel I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but you get the channels you get a couple of things so uh, you don't have the antenna strength uh, the signal strength uh, anywhere I think so uh, you can't see that so that's a little bit of a bummer so you don't have the uh, the intensity for the signal but these goggles are really see you can see all the break up the dairies and guys the antenna up here they are tight so I just tighten them up and these things are tight so but we'll see that when we are doing a little comparison with the uh, the quads moving to different rooms and going to different places so uh, alright guys so basically uh, right now we're gonna do a little comparison see you can see all the static and the quad is right next to the uh, <laughs> right next to the goggles so that that's kind of a that's kind of a bummer but what's hard to, to to do with these is the fact that when you're flying around uh, there's so much uh, th there's a little bit of lag and there's so much breakup and the image quality is nowhere near as good as the uh, Isheen uh, VRD2 so which I have and even the Isheen uh, VR06 Pro so I'll, I'll show you guys why and I'll tell you guys why I like even flying better with the uh, the uh, VR600 Pro uh, VR06 Pro so uh, from Isheen so but these goggles on your face uh, there let me turn it off here let me turn off the screen so click Veerhawk you, you still got that little uh, logo so uh, what I think is happening with these goggles the fact that there's a little bit of delay and that the image quality is not as good even though the resolution on paper is the same as the VRD2 the, the screen quality is not the same so but uh, when you're flying with these uh, first of all on your face they're pretty heavy uh, the nose part is adequate, but it could be a little bit more of a cutout for your nose. Uh, they're, they're just a little bit heavy, and that's why they're a little bit heavy, because the top part here 
just separates like the Isshin 800 uh, 800 model so they just separate so you can just use that here as a uh, just your basic um, oh there's a little plastic film on there so which I didn't took off let me see if I can pull that tab out there you go so a little bit more quality so uh, that little film I didn't take it off because I'm gonna return these goggles anyway but that doesn't really matter so but right now you can see let me turn it back on so we can see what it's like with just the box like that so Veerhawk so I mean the quad's still plugged in so as you guys can see this is the quality that you're getting with these goggles and st still you get that breakup and the quad is right next to the uh, at the goggles so uh, the quality on these I mean the antennas are just are just shitty but what I think is happening and since Veerhawk they added the little logo when you power up the goggles they messed something up in the programming or something like that so when you're using the goggle itself uh, basically uh, you're getting a small lag a small delay on the on the goggles and that's that is really annoying guys that is really annoying so uh, for the comparison I'm just gonna put the um, I'm just gonna put the uh, the goggle back together so rear hawk when you power off so I'm just gonna put that these things back together right here so that way we can do a real comparison with the um, the other goggles so all right second part of the video guys is going to be basically um just a little comparison and we'll finish up the review with the three goggles side by side all right guys so see you in a second all right guys so uh second part of the video this is going to be at a comparison so right now i got my lovely assistant that's going to take the drone and go to the other room so uh this is going to go in my uh, bedroom so here we go, she's taking a drone. So now you can see uh, if there's a delay with the goggles. So basically you can see that the uh, Veerhawk, they're a little bit different. So you can see that there's a part with the nose piece on the VRD2. So Veerhawk on this on the right in the middle, VRD2s, and on the side there. So uh, you can see a lot of breakup on the, uh, v uh, on the Veerhawk versus the other one. So uh, right now she's in my bedroom so now she's going by my bed so you can see the quality right there so you can see the breakup is horrible on the Veerhawk so just horrible compared to the VRD2s and the uh, even the VR07 Pro so uh, VR07 Pro's got a little bit of a hard time but the be the best out of the two is the uh, Ishin uh, VRD2 so uh, you can see right there so uh, now she's putting down the drone all right, thank you to my lovely assistant. So now you can see the uh, image quality. So basically the Veerhawk guys, uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but there's a slight delay. There's a micro delay on the Veerhawk that is just so annoying. I mean, let's get you guys a little close up on the Veerhawk versus the Ishin VR. So right there, so we got a little bit of a breakup on the Ishin, but it's not that bad. Flying actually guys, there's, there's more of a delay on the uh, on the Ishin and the Veerhawk. So this is the VR06 Pro. Look at the image quality on the VR06 Pro. So uh, right now I don't I don't know if the Ishin uh the VRD2s are is because my camera is too close or the uh, the other goggles are interfering in the way, but I'm placing the Veerhawk on the right so that the signal is the closest. Right now you don't you don't see any any breakup guys, but believe me, the breakup is way more horrible than the Ishin VRD2s or or even even now if you see but if I move the the uh, the other goggle the Veerhawk a little bit closer and I turn the VRD2s over there so now you can see the breakup is gone and you don't you see a little, couple of lines going in there on the uh, Veerhawk the Ishin now that I move the Veerhawk a little bit out of the way there's no more breakup and the VR06 Pros are still very strong so uh, these one, the VR06 Pro, don't have uh, the uh, diversity. They just have antenna diversity versus uh, actual diversity. So uh, the VR uh, VR RD2 that get actual diversity, and they got DVR functionality as well. And you can see the Veerhawk that is on the right and the closest one. You can see the flickering in there. 
the image quality guys you guys could be the judge I mean the Veerhawk I, I find that the Ishin's got more sharpness versus the Veerhawk the Veerhawk image quality is not that great uh, you guys could probably tell maybe not but uh, this is just flying with the Veerhawk versus even the Ishin VR06 even though the image is smaller on the Ishin VR06 Pro um, the uh, image is just easier to fly because of that small delay that I'm telling you guys on the Veerhawk. I mean the Veerhawk's got a, just a small delay that's annoying. The image quality is not that great. And with any of these goggles guys, I got two pairs of the Ishin VR06 because they were really cheap. I got a good deal on Banggood. And with these two pairs, uh, you have to do this modification right there, which you had to have a pair of... Uh, of um, glasses in there, uh, prescription glasses to fit your eyes because uh, even if there's adjustment on the VRD2s on the sides you can adjust the focal length a little bit it's not enough uh, even with the VRD2s I took off the glasses but I put a pair of uh, plus three I think glasses in there just that little modification I did with the uh, little uh, blue gummy uh, that, that little thing to hold it in there so even with the uh, Veerhawk, you have to, to do the, the glasses modification to get a good quality, to get a good picture quality. So, last look at the goggles, guys. And you guys can see the Veerhawk are the closest one to the actual quad. So, there's no interference from the other goggles. And you guys can see that there's a line in there and there's some breakup. And with the VRD2s and the VR06s, there's like zero breakup. So... Uh, I'm telling you guys, if I fly behind my bed right there where the quad was before, uh, the image is just horrible. You can see the flickering in there. It's just, it's just annoying and horrible. And, and the goggles are fully charged. Only the VR06, I think, is flashing that it's not really uh, charged. So it's saying 3.6 volts. So it might, it might uh, just uh, give up right now. But you can see with the VRD2s, you have the... Uh, you have the signal strength in there for the antennas, which antennas get the better strength and stuff like that. So, uh, way better quality with the VRD2s. The Veerhawk, I'm just going to return them, guys. It's just not worth the price. I mean, uh, even at $40, even if they're on sale at $40 or $30. I mean, if you want a second pair just to, to put, to see, uh, show, you, show people uh, what they're seeing, like a, just a basic screen. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting these, but for like maybe $30, uh, $35, because uh, more expensive than that, and it's just not usable for actual flying. I mean, you can get used to it, but unless you get a good deal on it, it's just better to go with the VR06s. I mean, I could see, uh, personally, I could see the image quality. I'm going to try to get closer and show you guys. This is the Veerhawk. These are the Ishins. And Ishin to me, the image quality is just way better. So, I don't know if you guys can tell. And these are the VR06s. So, I mean, there's no comparison. It's like almost doing it 480 versus a 720p HD. So, you guys might think that the Veerhawk that get uh, get a good a um, a good image, but believe me, it doesn't have that that good of an image. And it's it just you have to experience it for yourself. That micro delay that there is on the quad. I mean, you're inputting one way to correct the quad, and then there's a delay, and then you correct on the other side, and you're just starting to do that that little dead wobble from one side to the other, and one side to the other, because you're trying to compensate for that delay, which is really annoying. So, anyway, guys, would I recommend the Veerhawk goggles? Uh, no. If I recommend something else, if you just want to start out and get something inexpensive, get the Ishin VR06. Uh, very good goggles for the price. All you have to do is just that little modification to get a better image uh, on the on the uh, on the goggle itself. So let me turn on the, these that I modified, so that you guys can see. So basically, right there with the uh, lens modification, you can see right there. So uh, way better quality with these. I mean, uh, way better uh, image when you're looking through the glasses versus uh, just looking through the goggles. Because my eyes, I can only focus from maybe 25 centimeters away from my face. So I need, you know, glasses to uh, make it focus a little bit better. And I think most of the people out there are going to need um, 
glasses for the uh, for these goggles versus the Fat Shark. Even if the Ishin VRD twos, they got some adjustments on the side here. Let me show you guys what it does. So when you're let me get it focused. So when you're pulling back on these two tabs, so let's go. Let's pull back. So let's see there. I'm pulled all the way back. Now I'm gonna come back. So you can see the, the screen is moving, the frontal lens is moving, but it's not moving enough, guys. It's just not moving enough to make an actual difference. So right now, here we go. Let's put the goggle back. See, there's still that flickering with the Veerhawk that is so annoying. I mean, versus the E-Sheen, it's just easier to fly with the E-Sheens, way easier to fly with the E-Sheens than the Veerhawk. So that's why I'm gonna return the pair of Veerhawk. I'm just gonna say they're defective, and I don't know if it's it's a I think that it's a copy of the Ishin uh, 800Ds, uh, the Veerhawk R, but the antennas are not as good, and the, um, the there's something that they did in there when they are, did their custom programming or something. Since you see the Veer, Veerhawk logo, there's something in the uh, in the actual uh, you know uh, chips inside or in the program. That makes it that there's a small delay that's really annoying. So uh, when I fly, so like I said, better image quality with the Ishins. Uh, there's not that little delay that there is, and I think Quadcopter 101 has said that there was a delay as well. So a uh, small delay. So really annoying to fly with, especially indoors uh, with a uh, tiny whoop or something. It's just so annoying. So anyway, guys, this is this is my review on the Ishin. I mean on the Veerhawk uh ls 800 d's so uh would i recommend them no uh if you want something else get the uh, ishin vr06 pro hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did enjoy this uh, little review give it a thumbs up always appreciate it and i catch you guys on the next one